Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today for these moments with our Good Shepherd. I read from Titus chapter 2, verses 11 through 14. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all people. It trains us to reject ungodliness and worldly lusts and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age, while we wait for the blessed hope that is the glorious appearance of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people who are his own chosen people, eager to do good works. Then what? The presents are all opened. The children relax in a post-euphoric stupor about to fall asleep. Another Christmas has come and gone. Another year is almost over. What happens next? The focus of so much time, effort, and money during the Christmas season is on gifts. In a few months, or even in a few weeks, many of those toys will be broken, worn out, or at least forgotten. The children, who were so happy and content after opening all of their gifts, will once again want more, newer, cooler toys to play with. And so the cycle goes. Is this all Christmas is? an endless cycle of buying gifts, fulfilling wish lists, only to have the gifts break and the lists grow longer? Putting it in those words makes Christmas sound less appealing. Realizing that this is the way people treat the gift of Jesus Christ makes our celebration of Christmas a downright tragedy. Christmas, the celebration of Jesus' birth, is the one time a year when many go to church. We get full of the Spirit, pull out our trees, candles, and nativity scenes. Then the new year comes, and what happens? The excitement for attending church dims. The nativities are packed away for another year, and the exciting birth of Jesus becomes, unfortunately, boring for many people. This Christmas, let's remember what Christ was all about. He came to die for our sins. He came to change our lives. He came to teach us how to live as we eagerly look for his return. Don't let this message get old. Continue to grow in your knowledge of God's grace through the study of his word in church and in, at home. We pray. Heavenly Father, forgive us when we fail to treasure the message of your word every day of our lives. We praise you for sending your Son to redeem us, to pay the price for our eternity. Without you, our lives would turn into endless cycles of meaninglessness. With you, we have a reason to live. In Jesus, we learn to look for something more in life everlasting. Amen. Well, everyone, may God bless you this day. And remember, there is far more to Christmas than just one day. It lasts a lifetime.